<laughs> Today I'm going to share my anniversary build with you. I hope you enjoy this video and it motivates you or inspires you to create that next kit for that special someone. You'll be amazed with how just a little bit of time, your hands, a few parts, you're going to add something special to your gift, something you just can't buy. But first, let me explain why I'm doing this. So, instead of shopping around, online and hoping that what we're getting matches the Photoshop picture on their websites and potentially risk being disappointed. So to avoid this risk and add a little sum sum to my wife's gift, <laughs> I'm going to be sharing my build and my experience with you and my struggles that come with every project. And I hope that this comes out well. I haven't done this before and I hope my wife loves it. Otherwise, was it worth it? Eh, let's find out. After watching the John from How to Make Atronics, I'll leave a link down below in the description. I got inspired to make one of these heart LED photo frames, and I want to make one my own way. Now, I haven't prepared this or done this before, so watch till the very end and see how it comes out. Enjoy. All right, to start off, I'm going to have two separate picture frames. I think these are five by seven. And I got these at Salvation Army, so at a good price. Got a Arduino Nano. We got a fretboard so we can make our prototype, make sure everything works. And then a half size fretboard from the fruit so we can solder everything to it to finalize the circuit. Something to mount everything to. It's solid. Now we're going to have two different capacitors and two 2K resistors. Okay, next up, we're going to have something to mount to the wall. Now, Dajon uses an adapter to the wall, but it doesn't seem practical if I'm going to mount it to a wall that is not near electricity. So I'm going to try to implement one of these uh, battery holders to it to run it up double A's. We'll see how that. Then we're going to have wood filler and of course our LEDs. And then to finalize everything, I chose this color and it has primer and paint and it's good for wood. So we'll use that. All right. And then we have an LED driver. Again, I'll put in the description below where to get that from. And our driver mounts for our circuit once we finalize everything. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, so so far, so good. I can see why Dijon used a lot more LEDs. As if you can see, because I'm using literally half the amount, I'm gonna have some gaps here. So I'm gonna have to fill it out with, uh, with some wire. So I'm gonna take some of this wire and I'm gonna take the jacket off and then just finish the connections. All right, so not too badly. Random thought, guys. Is all yogurt from Greece Consider Greek yogurt or fish from Sweden, Swedish fish? Comment below. Curious. That's stupid. Okay. It was a little challenging getting around these corners. I'll come back and clean this up over here. But before we go do that, like we said before, I am going to hook up a resistor. I think this is a 220 ohm. And I'm going to give it 5 volts. What we're going to do is we're going to check each LED before we proceed to make sure they're all working. Oh, that's going to look good. All right, so while we're waiting for the hot glue to warm up, check this out. We have the two frames held together pretty nicely. And this fits in there pretty well. Just like that, like a glove. Look at that. We got plenty of room in there for our circuitry. I'm excited. I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait to finish this. It's gonna look good. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some some wood filler here, just on these edges. As you can see, it's a bit of a cap, but this is firmly secured. I'm pulling on this, nothing's happening. Um, so I'm just gonna make this nice and flush. We're gonna sand it and then after we paint it, it's gonna look like a single frame And uh, let's see what happens All right, so we're making quite a bit of progress here. So I ended up potting the connections for the LEDs um, So that way I'm not putting any stress on the LEDs as they are a bit fragile um, And I can just move the wires around without any concern um, also set up the circuit board and I loaded up the sketch on the Arduino Uno. Then I did modify the sketch, which is the program, to only use one TLC instead of two, which allows me to use half the amount of LEDs and also half the power, give or take. Um, so now I'm just gonna show you this powered up. I'm not gonna be using 
a supply from an outlet. Instead, I'm going to end up using is putting double A's in series to come up with the right voltage and average. Now, what I'm going to end up doing is somehow putting all this together inside of this. And you can see I already sanded, and my hands are messy, excuse me. Um, I already sanded the filler, and it's nice and flush. So it's going to look like a single frame. It's kind of cool. Let's, uh, let's try this. All right, let's try this. Not too much light before. So I'm going to put this down. I do the positive. And then we make the fuck up. Our green is starting up. And now we can see through the picture. And let's see. They all light up. I think we have one amp, probably. Yeah, I think one of the, the pin, oh, two of the pins. Two of the pins might come off a little bit. I'm trying to fix that. I found two of the pins were definitely disconnected. So. Light up. Let's see. Hmm. All right, so I found the problem. So what ended up happening is that somehow the TLC, for some reason, doesn't sit right in here into the breadboard. So it kind of turns on and off, on and off. It's almost like barely making a connection. So I, once I press down on it, then it made the, the connection with the with the hook up wire here. And then we're able to get everything lit up. So I'm not too concerned anymore. I think once we solder everything together, it should work out fine. Otherwise, we'll deal with it then, okay? All right, let's not waste any more time. So we have our code loaded up. We have our circuit board all set up. Now we have our LEDs tested, so we're all good to go. This is getting exciting, guys. We're almost there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this bulkiness right here and we're going to transfer it over to our ADA fruit half size breadboard. Now, if that doesn't work out as far as fitment, uh, we can always trim it down to what we need it to be in order to mount up the Arduino. Or worst case, just have it floating somehow. Maybe with some hot glue. We'll see. Uh, but if we're not able to use this for some reason, this mount into a breadboard, we have an alternative here. It's from a spark fun. Uh, TLC 5940 breakout board. It's basically the same thing in the form of a breakout board. So that way we can move it anywhere we want and it'll be convenient as far as fitment. Then I was going to use um, this switch right here that I had previously wired. However, I found this which holds together the batteries we need. It's all pre-wired up and it has an on and off switch. How convenient is that? So we can mount it up to anywhere we want. We'll figure that part out. All right, so I won't bore you with this part. I'll be right back. Now the moment that we've all been waiting for. Let's see if she likes it. Loved it. She gave it a thumbs up. <laughs> That's great. 
So I think this was well worth it. The amount of effort, the time, it just can't buy that. So what are you creating today? Thanks for watching. Try and make y'all comfortable. Yeah.